if you're new to this channel please make sure that you do subscribe and please make sure that you share this video because sharing is caring and caring is sharing and once you share you care so please do that for me and also give this video a big thumbs up and if you could tell by the title today I'm going to be using the color wax the red one to color my hair but before we get started with that I wanted to show you the products that I was going to be using for my wash and go <clears throat> um this is the kinky curly not today i do have a video of this up so i won't be going like too far in depth because really this is about me using the red on my hair and then i also am going to be using their kinky curly curling custard so without further ado let's get into this video and also um please leave any video suggestions or comments in the comment section down below and i'll make sure i do those videos for you guys and also um all of the products that i use will be in the description box so yeah <laughs> um and i just wanted to show you guys before i get into the tutorial or video whatever you want to call it um this is the mofa jang i don't know if i'm saying it right but this is the brand i'm going to be using and it's the red one and what else can you do? and it smells like men cologne and this is the color <laughs> okay okay so <clears throat> let's get into this video what's wrong with my throat so I'm starting with my hair separated two sides. I'm gonna go from the back to the front of my head. And I think that like the way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to put the products on, let it dry like halfway, then come back and put the hair wax on. Because that's how I did it last time and the color showed up better that way. So I just wanna do that so that my color won't look like faded or anything. So I'm gonna start off by spraying my hair. It'll come out. And this is just warm water in my container right here. That's all. Just in here. And I'm just gonna go in with fair leave and conditioner. like stuck in here you know how like it's a build up on stuff like when you like squeeze it out or something or like lotion especially and it's like a hard little foam that's what happened here all right i just took that much working it into my hair get those ends girl get those ends because I do not want this wax to dry out my ends. Alright, so now I'm going to go out with my little detangling brush or definer, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to detangle it like so. Honestly, this should be down right here. So now I'm going to take the custard and if you haven't done so already please make sure that you do subscribe and, and like this video. So I'm just taking the custard and I'm just putting it on my hair as you guys can see and it's defining my hair pretty well. It 
as you can see. The curls look very defined. So now I'm gonna do the other side of my hair and do the rest of my hair. And when I come back, it'll be time to put the wax on. I just wanted to show you guys how I did this part so that you could have like a um, reference for how to start off your washing goes. So I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back and my hair is like halfway dry now. Or it's more than halfway because I sat under the dryer. So now I'm just gonna, I know it's crazy, but hold up, where's my scrunchie? Found it. So I'm just gonna separate my hair right now and do what I did to the back. Or do what I did for my wash and go. I'm gonna do that same thing, but I'm gonna wet it back down. That way the product will stick better. I don't know the method to my madness. I just know that it works. So don't ask me why I didn't just put it on with the products. I just honestly feel like the products would have like dried it out if it wasn't already absorbed into my hair for the most part. So I'm separating my hair. I look crazy, I know. But now, I'm just separating my hair in the back. As you guys can see, the curls are shapopping. But what I found out when I did this the last time, and I'll insert that video in here so you can see how it looked when I mixed the purple and blue. But, um, I did it last time. Um, it left my curls feeling really defined, so like I don't really think it'll matter about me wetting my hair like and causing frizz because that'll all be solved on its own. So I just wet it down, and I'm gonna have to wet it a little bit more. Alrighty. So I put that on my hair, and now I'm gonna take this color red it's really like a hot pink I think but like it's gonna look red once I put it on my hair and I don't want to get it on my nails I took about this much you I don't think you need a lot like a long a little goes a long way so that's how it looks when it's on my hand and That's how it's looking on my hair right now. Okay guys, so right here I just wanted to point out that I'm really packing in the hair paint wax because I really wanted to stand out against my hair since my hair is really dark. So yeah, if you have dark hair, I suggest that you put a lot on too so your hair can stand out. Oh, and if I didn't mention already, I'm using a t-shirt like um, that I don't care about. And this washes right out like, you don't have to be worried about it standing here clothes or anything. That's how it looks. And now I'm gonna wet this side. Hey guys, so I just wanted to point out that I am spraying my hair down to loosen up some of the cast that's on my hair from the products already. But this is wet right now, so like when it dries, hopefully it'll be a little bit brighter. So now I'm just gonna repeat the same process that I did to the other side, to this side of my head, and keep doing that for the rest of my hair. getting there it's getting there I'm gonna like I think I wanna add like a lot on the tip so it can look like fiery when it dries you know what I'm talking about Good. like that way like it'll fade like I want it to like if it's gonna look like this go from the dark to the light alright so I'm gonna go do the rest of my hair and are you telling me this whole time this thing has been on my face? And y'all didn't tell me? Mmm. What the? I didn't even eat anything today. Anyway, 
I'm gonna fast forward it and you guys can see the whole process of me doing it. But right here, I'm just gonna speed up because I need to focus on what I'm doing right here. Look, as I put it in my hair right here, you can see it's coming up so. But I'll see you guys when I'm done and I'll let you guys know how it looks once it dries too. Okay guys, so I finally finished putting this stuff in my hair. I just went and washed off my hands and it's just like my nails are not ruined. I just had to take a cloth and go under them with it. If you have nails, don't worry, it comes right off. And I pretty much used this entire container. So if you have this amount of hair as me, you know that one should do. And if you have more, you might need to get a little bit more than this. I have a, like literally a little dot left probably if I all scooped it together. But girl, this is pimping, okay? okay? Like my red, like just wait till it dries. I'm, a, I'm just as excited to see how it looks when it dries. So I'm gonna come back. Why am I looking like this? So I'm gonna come back, okay? And I'm gonna tell you how like the results are and I'll show you how I do my edges. And I'll have my face all cleaned up and stuff. I just didn't get a chance to yet because I was just excited to come back and show you guys the results. But this is how it's looking. I'm predicting that it'll be a little bit brighter once it dries because it's wet now. But I'm gonna go sit under the dryer now and I'll be back with the results when it's dry. Okay guys. So what's up? I am done and I look like a strawberry. I feel like the girl from Sharp Boy and Lava Girl, honestly. But it's okay because I'm really feeling this color. But anyway, <laughs> side note. <laughs> um Oh, I put my hair up in this scrunchie. It's silk scrunchie, so it wouldn't mess up my curls. Yeah. This is how my hair looks once I took it down. It does have a little cast on it, but it'll soften up over time from what I learned with my other color, with my blue color when I had it. But I did go in with my diffuser and I just dried up my scalp a little bit so it wouldn't be hard because if you guys know, I live in Michigan and it's very cold here. So yeah. So now I'm going to just pick at the my edges oh and like before I had went out before I came on the camera I went in with a q-tip and just cleaned up my edges a little bit just so that when I decided to lay them they wouldn't look all weird but this is so cute in a minute I'm free about to dye my hair this color I showed my grandma this color. She talking about some, and you gonna keep that for two seconds. No, I'm gonna keep it for three, actually. Thank you, three seconds. And period, sis, that's it. So now I'm gonna take my spray bottle. Let me clean it off from earlier. And I'm gonna take my wet line extreme gel. Oh, I broke it. Why would I do that? Fix it, handy manny. Handy, was it wasn't handy manny, handy? One of them. Handy manny. So now I'm gonna take it and do my edges, duh. Mm. 
look at my toothbrush is turning pink. So that's pretty much all I do. Y'all know I don't do nothing special to my edges. I just like literally squeak it up so that they look like cute and fresh. And that's about it. But I'm gonna have to go in and um clean up the rest of the red. But that's pretty much it. Um. This is a very, this is a really cool way to like do your hair. Like if you like me and you're very indecisive and you don't know if you want to color your hair for real. This is like a good option for you. If you don't want to do that. Well, I just made my face red. So yeah, I'm pretty much done. Um, so this is the end of this video. If you like it, please make sure that you do give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do make sure that you're subscribed. That would mean the world to me. We're at 500 now. I'd like to keep growing and reach the next benchmark of 1,000. So I'm pretty sure we could do that by December. So let's get it. Let's go. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, let me show you guys the hair and then I'll be for gone. So... Hello there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Bye. Oh.